Osceola County Schools unveiled a prototype for a radar system that would alert bus drivers of people around under and inside of school buses. The technology will be the first of its kind in Central Florida. Watch News' Megan Mulatto spoke with the family of nine-year-old Elias Amar Marshall Rodriguez, who was hit and killed by a school bus in Orlando, to get their thoughts. All with a single purpose, and that's to enhance student safety. The Osceola County School District is partnering with Korean company Smart Radar System to put sensors on school buses that scan for pedestrians when the bus is stopped. Our engineering team worked hard with the, uh, their team to come up with a radar solution. The radars are installed on the outside of the bus and underneath it. It would alert drivers with lights and sounds if anyone is too close. Yeah. Saving Children's life is the highest priority, so that's our mission. It's a little too late for Elias. It should have already been enforced. We sat down with the family of nine-year-old Elias Amir Marshall Rodriguez, who was hit and killed by a school bus in Orlando in January, to get their thoughts. They started a petition after he passed away for better safety measures on buses. If anything can help aid that, um, so another parent doesn't have to feel the way my aunt does, and. I think that's an amazing thing that they're doing. The sensors would also be installed inside the bus to make sure no child gets left behind. In Osceola County, Megan Mulatto, WESH 2 News. We're told the system will be ready to go in the next couple of months. It must be approved by the state in September before the district can move forward with installation.